what are you doing? Oh, um, I'm using my brand new keyboard. Uh, Timber sent it over for us to review. Your new keyboard. Surely it's our new keyboard if it's been sent for review. No, no, it's my new keyboard. So we should actually do a proper review of this keyboard, Erin. Probably. And also that means that we can stop you from typing on it for at least a few minutes. And I've got to say this is immediately evoking nostalgia for me because it's bringing back memories of the BBC Micro. I have no idea what that is. Sure you do. The computers that were in the schools in the UK in the 80s. That was 20 years before I was born. Anyway, uh, we'll put up a picture of a BBC Micro and maybe you'll see what I mean. It's the black keycaps and it's the shape of the keycaps with the white lettering on it's just evoking all those memories for me. And that was quite an important computer for me because I learned to, to code on the BBC Micro. The, the whole nostalgia thing is probably being aided by the fact that it's got this wood effect base to the keyboard and hence the name Timber. Although I've said wood effect and now I'm looking at it, I think it's actually a piece of real wood. Yeah, I think it is. A piece of walnut. And that's attached to this solid metal key bed. So the whole thing has quite a bit of heft to it. How much would you say that weighs? Um, it probably weigh one bottle of water. It weigh one bottle of water. Well, I have had a little bit of this water. Though. Can you just, is that? Yeah, it weigh one bottle of water. Very nice. Uh, so the keyboard is equipped with Gatoron brown switches. Um, Gatoron is a good brand. These feel like really good quality switches. And the brown, uh, this is kind of middle of the road response and noise level. So they're not clicky. No, but yeah, quite noisy. It is quite noisy, but they are very nice. Uh, something I have noticed is that on the F and the J keys, not only have you got the usual sort of little lip to help you place your fingers, but uh, it's actually a different shape. Can you feel that, Erin? The top of the keycap has got more of a, a, a like dent in it. Dent, yeah. Yeah, I, I really like that. I mean, the keys themselves are different to what we've gotten used to. Mm. Uh, with our sort of modern chiclet style keyboards on our laptop, I tend to type like this, you know, with your hands fairly straight. But with this, it feels like you are going to need to be a bit more oh, like right. a touch typist. Like um, on a typewriter. Yeah. How do you know about typewriters? I've got one at home. Have you? You can still access the function keys using combo keys. Mm. And we'll come to that again in a moment. Uh, so the keyboard itself has a USB Type-C connector on the side and included with it, we get a nice braided USB-C to Type-A cable. And if you take that end there in, we can show how long that is. Um, many bottles of water in length, I should think. Yeah, yeah, at least five. But of course, you don't need the cable unless you want to program the keyboard. And again, we'll come back to that in a moment because it is Bluetooth. There is a battery in here, mm. a 1900 milliamp hour battery. And you can connect this keyboard to up to five devices simultaneously. And it is really easy to connect. So all you do is press the FN key and then button one, two, three, four or five, depending on which slot you want to program. It's really easy to reset all of those as well, by the way. So you can have it connected up to one computer and just switch to another computer simply with a quick key press. And I think that's absolutely brilliant that's because this is compatible with lots of different devices as well. So you could use it with your Windows machine, you can use it on Mac, you can use it on your Android tablet or your iPad or even your iPhone if you wanted to, Erin. That's cool. So you can make a noise wherever you go. Brilliant. They do say on their website that this is pocket sized. Yeah. How do we feel about that? I mean, if there are any women watching, <laughs> you'll know that with jeans What are you trying to stuff. say? There's not many women watching Constant Geekery Day. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> Story women in fashion and pockets. Yeah. You were about to give us some insights. I was. I was just going to say that women's pockets are always like this big. Or sometimes you just get fake pockets because, you know... Why would women need pockets? Shall I test it in my man's pockets? Yeah. Can you say man's pockets? That's not, <laughs> not going to have some like, weird double meanings. <laughs> All right, so I, I'm just wearing a standard pair of Levi jeans, as I always do. And it does fit in my pocket. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily call it pocket. Try and sit down. I'm actually in a bit of pain because I went karting at the weekend and this isn't help. That's... I don't think, though, that you would... Would you sit down with your keyboard in your pocket? I mean, it said it would fit in my pocket. 
I mean, anything can fit in a pocket. It's all down to how big the pocket is. And I would say that realistically, that's not an ideal claim to put on the website. I don't think it's really pocketable. Do you get a carry case or anything like that with it? You do. It actually came with this really nice carry case. That's quite neat. You'd be quite happy popping that into your rucksack to take with you if you want to annoy everybody at the coffee shop. Yeah. Which I imagine you do, Erin. Yes. Uh, I notice also we get a, a keycap remover and we get two spare keys as well. We get a home and an end key, mm. uh, which of course don't currently feature on here. So I guess you could swap out insert and delete for home and end if that's what you wanted. Or... I'd swap out the H and the G. Would you? Yeah. So there's another feature of this keyboard which we haven't mentioned yet, and that is that it has RGB lighting. Mm. And again, you have to access this via various sort of combination keys. Uh, is there a manual in the box, Erin? There is. And it's just a sheet of paper. So um, it ha does, however, list out the combination function. So you could get going with this and certainly get it Bluetooth connected, I think. Uh, and it does tell you how to switch the lighting on. How many colours does it have? Over 60 million, I think you said? 16 million. 16? Yeah, I think so. That's the usual thing, isn't it? 16.7 million. Oh. If you've got 256 shades of red, green and blue, I think that comes to 16.7 million. Did you know that shrimp can see more colours than us? Shrimp? How many colours can a shrimp see? More. Okay, thank you for that. How much does a shrimp weigh? Probably less than one bottle of water. Okay. It's good to know. And, you know, Constant Geekery is here not just to show you great keyboards, but also to discuss the important things in life, like the weight of a shrimp and how many colours they can see. So as we mentioned, the keyboard has a 1900 milliamp hour battery, but what does that mean in terms of battery life? You can use it up to four to five weeks, and that's using it for three to five hours each day, uh, and that is with the lighting off. Did you test that yourself? No. That's the manufacturer's claim. So. That is. Yeah, so we haven't, we haven't uh, used it for that long to be able to test it. Um, there is also a power switch under the space bar. The only way to access it is to get a, a knife or something, but you can switch the keyboard off to preserve battery life if you want to. And actually, yeah, it's not gonna accidentally get knocked, is it? So mm -hmm. that's probably a reasonable solution. Uh, so in order to program the keyboard, if you want to customize it, you can do that with a web app. So this opens up in your web browser. Mm. And from what I can gather, this is based on the QMK open source firmware. And it appears that there's some sort of JSON connection between the, the keyboard and your computer, which allows you to configure the device. So when you open the web browser and use the web app, it automatically knows what keyboard you've got. Mm -hmm. And you can have a look at all of the different key maps. And the keyboard has layers. So you've got these kind of virtual layers that you can switch to where the keys can then be assigned something else. And I think there's, is there like nine virtual layers or six? There's, there's a lot of virtual layers. And you can also record macros as well. So you could completely customize this keyboard however you like. How did you find that process of customizing the keys, Erin? Personally, not having any experience with keyboards, I found it very difficult and I didn't really know what I was doing. It took me a little while as well to figure out what was going on. Now, in fairness, once you get to the documentation on the website, which is obviously more than a, a single sheet of paper, you can actually figure it out and uh, keyboard geeks can absolutely love it. I think for the average user, though, it's not that easy to find the documentation, is it? No, no, not at all. So I, I think you went into the FAQ section and then it's down at the bottom of the page, there's a link to it. So mm -hmm. uh, entirely possible we've done something wrong there, but it, it didn't seem very obvious to us. Uh, the web app itself is actually fairly straightforward to use. You can just drag and drop uh, keys around. Once you've done that, you can then download a key map and you have to upload it then to the keyboard and that was the process that we were a little bit uh, confused by until we found the documentation, because actually it's as easy as pressing FN and delete together whilst you've got the keyboard plugged in via USB. And then it shows up as a removable drive. You just copy the, the file over that you've downloaded from the web app and off you go, you can reconfigure your keyboard. Dead easy to reset it and change it back again as well. So once you know the process, would you feel comfortable now that you know how it works yeah. doing edits? Yes. So just a bit better documentation and make, make the documentation a bit easier to find. And I, I think the keyboard will be accessible to more people. Mm. So we need to come to some conclusions about the keyboard, Erin. What, what do you think? 
I think people who like keyboards, this is like a really nice option for them to get. And I think if you're going to have like a nice like PC build and have like a really nice setup, then this one's like very aesthetically pleasing. It is. It's minimal, isn't it? Mm. And I, I do personally like a smaller keyboard. I, I think it'd be good if they could make a larger one, but I think that might be quite expensive. Mm. Um, although I've seen the prices for some of these custom keyboards or high-end keyboards, and actually $179 doesn't sound out of the ordinary to me mm. based on what I've seen. So, I, And it is very good quality. I like the, the keys that they've chosen on this, the, the brown, but if you want to have your own keycaps, you can uh, choose which color you want and which response you want. It's $20 extra as far as I'm aware, to, to do that. So $199 if you want that. And they do also offer what they call a bare bones version. Yeah. But we couldn't figure out what that was, but it's $159, but I assume something's missing, like maybe the keycaps. It's an alphabetical order. <laughs> maybe you've got to put them on yourself or shuffle them around. Mm. Mm. Uh, you can also get it with cherry wood as well, instead of walnut, if that's what you'd like. I like it, and I would be happy to use it I'm not quite so happy at the thought of you using it in the office next door to me because it is quite noisy. And I think if you're in an office environment, your colleagues might have something to say about you using a keyboard like this. But of course, lots of us are working from home now, so um, you can make as much noise as you like when you're working from home, Erin. I don't care. Anyway, we like the keyboard, and I hope you like this uh, short review video. And if you did enjoy it, what do the viewers need to do, Erin? Like or dislike, comment, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you again soon for some more geekery. I knew you were going to do the wave thing. It's I just, I just look miserable most of the yeah. time. Mm.